you know how I used to do all the like um, decluttering updates and then like simplicity updates and I was just looking at all these freshly washed clothes and I'm just I don't know if you see it the same but I just like all of these just work really well together and it's just I can see so many outfits and I hadn't even taken the scarf on I was like oh wow I can really I love to wear this over this over this um over this or I can have this I can pair this guy with this one and the skirt will look perfect and obviously the ivory over ivory and I love ivory so they will look really cute together and we can swap this out for that for a colder time but this I think is better off as an undershirt I did pair it with the skirt and it looked beautiful but I think the fabric may be better off protected which is kind of a pity when it comes to that particular outfit because I really loved it and of course this one oh I also never really looked at the button because it has some gray in here so that will really go with um, something like this as well oh wow I it just everything just looked really harmonic and it just this one too because the brown is kind of cool that it's it's brown enough to work with brown but it's kind of a gray enough brown to actually work with gray which is kind of cool yeah I can't wait to try that out I think it looks so cash in this like they have in magazines they have this like casually thrown up over your shoulder actually wait this might be a little too short also staying warm is obviously the first priority in the winter but I guess I'm I'm not really like this is not like a fashion update channel so I don't know but I noticed it like the first time when I noticed this jumper goes really well with a black t-shirt I have and it just is so cool to see this harmonic like see this harmony everywhere and um you know I thought to myself cups of water up in the making and this is what I'd like my closet to look like but it's cool that it's falling to place so effortlessly and easily that, that it's almost on its own and now I think I still have to just find a way to maybe pare things down to where I know what to keep but it's I feel like this is a really good start it could be really helpful because that tells me that I don't really need a lot of clothes as much as we are misled to think in our society because these few things and they're already so harmonic that I could make all the outfits out of that I told you about now imagine if I had one jeans and then I could swap the skirt out for that and I can make all these new ones even the scarf would look really cool with this because knitwear and then there's ivory in here as well and it's just really cute but yeah I can't w I'm way to wear it also maybe this could be left out but I feel like it, it gives it like an elegance because it's kind of like a silk look-alike oh no this Oh, okay, great. I feel like I need to pop this back in the wash. Some of the stains didn't really come out, but... Um, yeah. Anyway, I just want to share with you how that happens. You just sit there because... And I, they happen to be hung up because they were drying. And you see all these cool outfits that you could create. So, it's awesome. But everything just, like... I feel like I had a better developed a better eye for I thought it was maybe beauty but actually it's like harm uh, sorry harmony what really looks harmonic and goes really well together so that will be just perfect I know these won't be propped up very well here but because I haven't planned this but um I think I see things better because those things like this um jumper and the t-shirt that I was talking about I already had and still I never really seen and never really looked at them that way 
And I think what's cool is it all happens to be like it evolves to this effortless. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you probably couldn't see anything there for a second. Um, this effortless style that everybody seems to love and I guess I never saw, saw that as me. I guess it's something that I would want to be or something. And it's really cool and also mostly I would think of it as maybe that it works for slim people better or something. But isn't really true because it's been working well for me. And you can see... Well, it's still evolving to it, but look at that. And then I'm hoping this can kind of kind of come out. It's so cool because I feel like this elevates it. It's like it makes it very elegant, a bit more chic. But then you've also got a casual element. But the skirt makes it feminine. And you could kind of still wear it for maybe a professional place. But it's also kind of downdressed. You can also kind of wear it for maybe, well, when you go home or like after work and just chillin and i'm sure you can swap the skirt out for jeans but since rediscovering skirts and dresses i'm kind of into them so and let me just try and put a scarf around here so whoa <laughs> the whole sofa was full um so that would fall to the back but you would have a scarf there anyway you get an idea and it's beautiful how this one has got some ivory in as well so it mirrors this but it definitely has obviously Gray. Man, I should be a stylist. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, yeah, I really like that. I really like the idea. I think I would have stayed away from the skirt in the past, but I'm loving this. I love how the effortless. I mean, yeah, the whole look is not really coming across here very well because it's still all crumbled and it's. Um, threw it on the sofa, but maybe I, I will get a chance to show you better in the future. I'll maybe even like be wearing it when I happen to talk to you. Nowadays I'm doing this walk and talk mostly is convenient so I don't really know how that will go but yeah, this will definitely work on the library as well. Which will be maybe more summery. Yeah and I think it's cool because you wouldn't really think of pairing this silk like sort of super I don't know sophisticated and shirt with an elegant looking, maybe more of an up style kind of a shirt, like a, I don't know, just making out a look more expensive shirt, and then you just pair it with like a really casual jumper, but I think it's awesome. I love it. I have still got too, too many holes, so, well, at one point I thought, and I want to have told you that, um, it, maybe it's a matter of not repurchasing. Actually, maybe I have told you that. I can't remember. Um, repurchasing things, but like about not repurchasing, um, you know, things as long as you still have something you need, and then that they will like um, naturally like kind of reduce. But how do you know, you know, how long that will take? And do I want to wait this long? But now coronavirus has happened as well. It kind of made me double think, to be honest, if I should keep things until this whole thing is over because I don't want to be like a hamster and fearful and just like kind of um, form attachments out of like, like a, a mindset of lack and then just like out of worry that will there be enough for me or will there be enough for us available. I don't want to like even act upon that energy. I don't want to even get myself onto that frequency, if that makes sense to you, but... At the same time, I guess, I guess you gotta be kind of realistic and like practical and I don't know, but all the shops have obviously temporarily closed down. I'm pretty sure they will open again when everything is over. And also the sunlight is so beautiful, by the way. I guess I should finish one sentence, shouldn't I? Well, I feel like, I don't know, maybe like temporarily, well, since I was gonna do the box thing anyway, where I actually have the box to see if I really if I want them back at all that I then can. Oh god, I'm not showing the best. <laughs> um, oh, okay, there's like a few makeup items. Um, I have some of these belts, but I was thinking I could sell these because I'm sure that I, well, maybe this one, but should I keep this one? Because this one I'm selling on. 
So I was pretty sure about these that I won't really need those. Oh, hey, I could put this jacket in here. I know it's a mess, but I know why what is where, so um it's a matter of taking action on those things, but anyway, that's the box. So yeah. Um yeah, so maybe that kind of coincides well, because then if you did really need to dig something up. Because, I mean, I don't know, because even if I keep it because of corona, I feel like if there's, like, a genuine reason that really the energy um, that the item has adopted or that it really doesn't belong in my life anymore, I wouldn't really want it around. I wouldn't really... I feel like once you keep it, then it just affects you again, and then it just kind of... And I think that's actually what happened with some of my things, because I didn't do those things soon enough and I said to you I wanted to do better for you guys and I think that's where we left off I guess and I noticed some of those energies actually kind of well I told you about the jewelry and the clothes but I think um I had a harder time admitting like afterwards I think some of the stuff crept back in which is super embarrassing but there were like two bags that I got that I got out of old reasons that I would have never um, had anymore after you know thinking when when God um, when I thought God can be fil the fulfillment of these voids what am I doing with things so that happened after but it happened so I guess it tells me that there's still an injury unfixed and I don't really know what to tell you because I feel like that's being that's not being a good example. Um, I can show you the bag though. It's a jigsaw bag for six bucks. And see, this is the thing. You know how Chris taught us that um, it's not about cheap, cheap, cheaper things like that. And I didn't need a bag. And I, I, I guess I thought to myself, well, I can return it. But then the thing happened where all the charity shops closed because of Corona. So. Okay, there's something, there's some information around this one, but here you go. But Jigsaw, I always wanted something. But I, I know that a part of me doesn't, didn't really want this bag, because I don't need another bag. However, um, well, it's a great size. Now that I'm becoming even more simplistic and everything, I was beginning to think that I could be possibly become the person in the future who maybe doesn't like have these big bags all the time and maybe have um, you know travel light and have a better amount of things to have to hold in one day and this is heavy enough actually holding it like this oh my gosh and that's only my purse like there ain't that many things in here oh dear this is only my purse with all the store cards today that might be why but I'm old school about actually wanting to physically have them but, um, just to show you what I'm talking about and admit something. So if there's anything where I'm not, I don't know, by example, I feel like um, I need, if I can't spread love, I don't have. So, yeah, um, I thought I could sell this though after a while, like use it for a while and then maybe sell it. We'll see how it goes. It is a cute bag. Like, there's no problem with the bag. Simply the, the way I purchased it more than actually the actual item. Because six pounds for a jigsaw bag is good. And it is a good, nice quality bag and pretty. And I love the color. This mushroom leather is just perfect. Which, by the way, it would, great, would look great on that one. Wait. See what I mean? I just, like, see this, like, harmonic beauty everywhere, like... And here you have an outfit, maybe a um thingy, like a necklace, but that won't even show under the belt anyway. And I think pearls will look perfect because same color and it would be the same shininess. Ooh, just just be perfect. And maybe 
So this will be like an autumn outfit or for an autumn. Yeah, well, it would be because this is a wool skirt. If I had a same color tights, it would be perfect. Even mustard, actually. If you're adventurous, well, all, any color incorporated pretty much. Probably won't go with light blue because it would stand out very much. There's just a little bit of light blue in there. But ivory. And I have these brown tights, which are really in need of like replacement, but um, they I think would look similar enough. But I think it's so cool. I never thought the whole effortless style could effortlessly she could be for me. Um. Right. Well, yeah. I don't really know how to speak on it yet, but. I don't want to feel like I'm, there's something I'm not telling you. So I guess take that thing I told you about the bag away and maybe just like understand it, what I'm telling you. Hey, wait, this scarf goes with that, um, with those tights because the brown would be. say something about like love was demanding because love obviously isn't but I feel like my capacity maybe hadn't evolved to a reach the highest heights that maybe if I had then I could have maybe it would have been um more effortless to do this and I think I wanted a bit of a timeout or something and now I just kind of feel like There's a bit of a disconnect or um, things like that. All along, I mean, there were all these, these little things that I maybe noticed, but I always thought I would get back to it and quite soon. But then, like, the new thing already happened while I was thinking I was going to get back to that, like, back to love. What kind of you know, back to a stronger connection with you all and more being more in the moment of where it was needed. Even at the beginning, there are actually some people that actually got scared because what I was um, learning it was so, into, I was so in, it was happening so within the right time that it related to everybody so much that they actually got scared, that I would know, that they thought that I knew things about them that I could not possibly have known. But I feel like it's not about what the other person can know. If you, if there's something that they thought they knew, but I think that's the involvement that happened at the time. But I mean, that's how um, in tune I was with like, like in the moment I was. And I think now a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, a lot of things have accumulated that I haven't, you know, done, and I couldn't even do them the same because it done now is not that moment anymore. And I don't know what to tell you guys, but maybe if I had a greater capacity, I would kind of already be on top of those things. And also, the, when that person left, the one I shared with you about, or I told you about, it, it just, I think, a lot about that kind of brought back up all those thoughts about what happened last year and just everything. It just made me feel really bad and I think I didn't really yeah I didn't have the I don't know I didn't really have the tools to deal with it really well because I I guess every time I come up love, I love it I kind of think I can get back to it if I stick with the positivity that I have and at the moment I'm feeling like I think I got off it so far but then again like Friday like these things keep happening on Friday something happened and 
I think it's significant still, so... Um, but I feel that maybe my energy has maybe changed from the beginning. And I won't, I don't want to say it to put it, be the one to put it out there. I feel like people already felt it and then I'd rather be the one telling you rather than being a liar, if that makes sense. I don't want to just like, make others like feel down or like worried and just come in with these negative things, but I don't know what you do. There's hope for my wardrobe. <laughs> There's hope for um, decluttering, I guess. Well, what else can you do? You're stuck inside, talking about the weather. It is beautiful. I'm so glad the sun is beginning to come out. Because I was told that the sun might kill the virus. I hope it's true. One person said that. And another person said that they heard that the virus killed, um, gets killed from a really low temperature, but... I'm not sure if that's true because I feel like the temperature is like way too low. Then the virus would have been dead by now, but there's two people thinking that worms can do something and obviously that's what we normally have experienced with flu, so yay, that certainly I think brings some hope that the summer will actually get things back to normal. I know there may be vaccines and things that are trying to develop or are already developed, I don't know. Somebody said that they were curing, somebody was curing it with vitamin C. But I don't know what sources to trust anymore, you know what I mean? So, I heard all those things, so, um, you know, I feel like as... I mean, with flu, I mean, uh, oh god, I don't take this as medical advice for sure, but obviously, when I heard vitamin C, I mean, that's what we did with the flu, and I don't know, but at the same time, did we do that with SARS? 